Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeven video. My name is Tommy and in this video I would like to talk about, I think, probably one of the most difficult exercises in dressage. We are going to talk about the walk pirouette. A pirouette is a turn on the spot around the hind leg. The two front hooves and the outside hind hoof needs to turn around the inside leg. Um, it's very difficult because in the walk uh, yeah, you easily get out of balance. Um, Horses can go sideways with the hind legs, they can move too much forward or backwards even. Or also a common mistake is that the inside hind leg stops moving. So in fact, the inside hind legs needs to go off the ground and on the ground again, exactly on the same spot, every step in the same rhythm. Uh, yeah, I think that's very difficult. I don't want to go into too much theory about this pirouette but um, uh, Rob is going to show you with Karma how we work on the pirouette. Uh, she's a quite young unexperienced horse, she doesn't have a lot of balance yet so I thought it would be nice to show it with her so you can see what kind of difficulties we have and uh, yeah, how we deal with it and what you can do in certain situations to try to improve your walk pirouette. I also made a video a while ago about the lateral movements. Maybe you can check uh, the video. I put a link uh, up in the screen. If you like our content and you want to make us more, then definitely don't forget to subscribe. So as, to, as Tommy told you, I'm on Karma. Karma is a six-year-old mare. Maybe you guys know her already. Um, before I want to do a um, walk pirouette, I think it's very important that you have a decent collected walk. So you have to have energy in the walk, uh, forward tendency, um, a nice connection, a bit like this. And at first, when we try with the horse walk pirouette, you do like leg yield for your outside leg. And you make like a half circle, no bending, just that her, her right hind leg in this case goes under her body and that she keeps having the same rhythm. So like this. Good girl, this is already a bit smaller. So that was okay. When this is going okay, you take a little bit bending now to the left. And you also do a bigger circle. You're just steering the shoulder, try to keep the same rhythm. Oh, there see the rhythm goes a little bit away. And you go out again. <clears throat> if this going okay, you try to make it a bit smaller. Smaller. And now she's falling a bit to my left inside leg. So I go forward till I have forward tendency and then I go on the circle again. I try to make it a bit smaller. Oh, there she's falling a little bit to my inside leg again. So I go forward when I have forward tendency again. Oh, that's not so good. I go forward. So you're going to play with it a little bit. Forward again. Don't do the exercise like you have to do it in a test, but try to have control in every, oh, that's not good again, forward. Try to have control in every pace you do. Better, better, and out. It's just nice connection again. <clears throat> we try to make one to the right. I make a turn first. If a horse is a little bit stronger on your outside leg, so she's hanging with the shoulder a bit to the left in this case, do a little bit of shoulder in, try to keep the same rhythm, and from the shoulder in, try to make the turn. Don't take too much bending at first. Keep the same rhythm. Don't make it too small. And go out. So you can do a little leg yield also from your left leg, shoulder, uh, at first, that's a bit of the same principle as shoulder in. 
and then try to make the turn. Oh, I lose a little bit of rhythm. You see on this side she loses rhythm. So what I can also do is make her comfortable with the turn. Just make the turn a little bigger and just keep turning till she finds the right rhythm. This feels better. Just make her feel comfortable. Take the rhythm, take the rhythm. This is already better. Now I go out. So I prefer a little leg yield with a little bit of right bending. So leg yield from my left leg, I mean. And then I make the turn. Here she's a little insecure. So I just keep turning because I'm practicing. Now it's getting better. Oh, a little bit more forward, otherwise she's falling to my inside leg again. This is better. Just keep turning, keep the same rhythm. This is better, and I go out. Good girl. So, as I told you, this is a six-year-old, so the walk pirouettes are not perfect yet. My goal is to make the uh, walk pirouette in the same rhythm, as small as possible, with a little bit of inside bending um, in, on the half circle. That's actually my, my goal with her. Um, as I told you, first things first, try to do a little leg yield for your outside leg and try to make the turn that her outside hind leg goes under her body and that she's comfortable with the rhythm and that she knows what you mean by turning. That's, that's the first thing what you should do. If that goes okay, take a little bit of bending and try to do the same, that she also feels comfortable, that she's not going faster, not going slower and that she's relaxing in her movement. If that is still fine, you can try to make it a little smaller. Um, it's more important that you have uh, a correct energy, correct balance uh, and the correct paces instead of that you make it as small as possible and you lose energy because then uh, you make an error probably. So if you feel your horse is more comfortable by making the walk period a little bigger, I think you should do that and then she gets stronger and more, more comfortable and it will be better in the end. If you make uh, a smaller walk pirouette and you feel that she is um, falling a little bit to your inside leg, just go a few paces forward that you feel that you have the, uh, the, the good rhythm again and then make the walk pirouette again. So don't try to make half circles all the time till like in the test, like from, okay, you should do it now. Just feel, okay, this is not working after one or two or three paces. Go out, go forward, and then make the turn again. And then she learns what you mean. And uh, then you can make uh, walk pirouettes for a better quality. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you do, leave a thumbs up or a comment. And if you have any more suggestions about our how-tos, because this how-to was from Julie de Kok. She asked us about the walk pirouette. So Julie, I hope you are satisfied now. If you have any more uh, questions, just let us know in the comments and maybe we can make another how-to. See you guys.